Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Help support my channel. We need to get to 1,000 subscribers pretty much as soon as possible. So then I go live streaming because YouTube policy that won't let me go live until I have 1,000 subscribers. Thank you to all the folks out there that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, please take this moment now with helping me. Click subscribe. Next, click the bell. And next, click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Plus, click the thumbs up button and every time you watch my videos. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on either my Patreon or PayPal links. If you join my Patreon page, then you'll get early access to these videos 24 hours before they're posted on the YouTube and lots more. If you prefer just leaving a small tip, click on PayPal. Either way, then you get that warm sense of satisfaction years down the line knowing that you helped me become a successful YouTuber. Monday, January 31st, 5.08 p.m. New York time. The U.S. futures markets are closed, so we can recap the yields, currencies, crypto, commodities. Each candle will be a month, representing the full month of January, the first completed month of the new year. Look here at the 30-year bonds, forward slash ZB. Yep, the 30-year treasuries are called bonds. For the month, we closed red. Made a lower high, lower low. Trend is down, closed below this consolidation. That's more bearish. We tested the swing low, rejected it, closed above it. So we want to expect we're going to have a retracement for another opportunity to look to trade bearish, to make money on the downside. Looking here at the 10-year U.S. Treasury, which is called notes. Also, we made a lower high, lower low, closed red below this consolidation. It's more bearish. Label D. Potential target. Yep. So we went below that, rejected it. That's good. Another potential retracement to the upside. And the five year US Treasury notes, red, lower high, lower low, trending down. Yep. Took out that one too. So there you have it. We have the US Treasuries trending lower, putting pressure for yields to go higher, to make interest rates to go higher. If that occurs next month, next day, next week, we'll know when it comes. Don't need to have mainstream media keep harping on it when they don't correct themselves every time they've been wrong, such as this month. Let's look at the US dollar index. US dollar index comprises of several currencies. Also note, typically when you raise interest rates, it strengthens that nation's currency. So raising our interest rates, which they haven't done yet, would typically raise our US dollar, make it stronger. Or another reason it goes up is when there's fear in other countries, they wanna to go to safe haven currency. US dollar is one of the safe haven currencies. And when people feel happy and wanna spend money, typically they're spending dollars that makes the US dollar weaker. So again, we can expect the dollar Potentially, well, looking here, what did it do? Made a higher high, lower low than the prior month, closed green, did close above that prior body. Yep, so it's an acceleration phase. It's an acceleration phase, but expected to have a retracement at some point. But cryptocurrency is not acceleration, it's trending down. Red for the month, lower low, lower high, trending down. Reject it, closing in this. Demand zone where buyers are. That close looks like more than midway point. Interesting. So let's look at the real currencies now and the major currencies. First is the euro US dollar. So when this goes down, that's representing the euro is getting weaker. And look what happened. Red for the month, we made a higher high, lower low, and close inside that prior candle, but still the trend's down here for the euro against the US dollar. US dollar is stronger than the euro. Japanese yen, same thing. 
lower high, lower low, trending down. But it closed nearly where it opened for the month. Very suspicious. That may be where some would consider this as a dodgy. Long tail on the top, long tail on the bottom. Almost open and close the same. So as a dodgy, looks as dodgy is interpreted two ways. Potential reversal, a potential halfway point from the current trend. Uh, let's bring this back to a longer time frame. Let's go to max. There we go. Max. Yep. The yen used to be all the way up here. So we have a potential swing low right down there. Let's label that. So I think that's low. Oh, Rudy took that right there. There we go. Okay. Something to be concerned about. Now we're looking at the British pound, red for the month. Did make a higher high, higher low than the prior month. And rejected the supply zone where sellers were and sold off. But oh, it's an acceleration phase here. Let's leave on that. That's certainly an acceleration phase. Potential staircase pattern, lower low. Right there. Let's move that. Okay. And the Canadian dollar also made a higher high, higher low, closed red than the prior month. But this close rejected the 0 0.80. So there's still a bunch of sellers up there. And the Swiss franc, huge sell off. Yep. Bunch of supply up here, sellers up there. Red for the month. It's closed below the prior month. Big point is still an acceleration pattern there. And the Australian dollar, red for the month, made a higher high. Lower low, close red below that prior candle body. Zooming in, look at each of these, identify who's trending, who's in acceleration phase. Well, look at the euro. Pretty low, it's starting to look like acceleration. Japanese yen still trending lower, but most of it looks like acceleration. Pound looks like acceleration. Canadian dollar acceleration. Swiss franc acceleration. The Australian dollar. Down here, acceleration. Yep. So, point is, they're accelerations, but the prior above them, staircase pattern lower low. Staircase pattern lower low. So, the trends overall still appear weak. The US dollar still appears as the stronger one, which is outperforming crypto. Yep. On to the next. We're going to the commodities. We'll start off with the energies, the metals and energies. Energy such as crude oil for the month, all time new high for the year. Red, green for the year, higher, high, higher, low. Trend is up. Take this back to a further duration, such as max. You see, we're not at all time highs. Nope. All time highs was back there. $147.27 for a barrel. You know when that occurred? That was during a war. 2008. Yep. There you go. So the way this is trending up, one would expect it's still going to go $100. And because all these swing points are up here, maybe even to the uh, that swing high, 114. Yeah, we may see that this year. We may see it go above $100 this year and then get up to that 114 plus, somewhere in those ranges. Yep. That would have a positive effect on a lot of those energy stocks too. So if you don't trade commodities, you can also look at those good energy stocks that are related. And natural gas, huge green for the month. A big reversal, big reversal. Went down to the supply area, touched it, rejected, went up, huge. Let's look at this for a longer duration. Again, it looks like, as I mentioned last year and the year before, commodities are on target going higher. Yep. Okay, let's go on to the metals, gold. Smaller trading range, red for the month, but made a higher, high, higher, low, still in the consolidation phase. And we had consolidation there, break up to the upside. So we're still staircase pattern higher, high. So there's plenty of opportunities still to be buying gold. No one would expect it's gonna go higher. That's what it's doing here. Consolidation, break up to the upside, consolidation. Building a wedge. I would look at my past gold videos, of the single stocks that wanna buy those. Those gold mining ones or buy the gold futures. Silver, same thing, it's an acceleration phase, but gold is looking more bullish. 
Silver did make red for the month. Higher high rejected it and closed just shy of that prior body. Platinum, big turnaround. Wow, green for the year, green for the month. I mean, higher high, higher low green, closed below the prior month. Yep, demands on buyers are at it here. And copper, red for the month. They make a higher high, higher low, close back inside the prior range, but below that 450. Note, copper is a huge metal for industrial. Your appliances, your electronic devices, they use copper. So when copper goes higher, that does put more expense into development, residential homes, your appliances in your homes. And it's an indicator. When this starts getting more bullish, you start expecting that turnaround too in some of those services that use it. Let's go on to the next set of commodities. The agricultural, which is really broad. Here we go. Corn, red for the month. Did make a higher, high, higher, low, close back inside the prior. Oops, got that on the wrong one. Sorry. Shame on me. There we go. Nope, wrong one. How often do I work this thing? Okay. There we go. Now we're back on the monthly corn. Yep. New high for the month. Trending back up. Looks like it's doing retracement last year. But right now for the month, January, close to green, higher, high, higher, low. Wheat, close red for the month. They closed below the prior month. Look at that. Bearish pin bar back there in November last year. And just like expect trending retracement. Soy, green for the month, strong like bull. Higher, high, higher, low, reversed. And lumber, something's with the data, so I can't do a further review until I get a return call from the uh, exchange. Yeah, see, you should have no data all the way back here. Maybe they uh, find out. And live cattle, green for the month, higher, high, higher, low. Look how high it up for all these past years. Huge demand. Let's put it for max. There we go. Not at the all time high, but again, finally trading above this huge consolidation. Maybe we'll see 150 years here. Oof. More fake food, I guess, they're going to serve at the uh, fast food places. Because remember, a lot of meats, if you want to call them meats, in your hamburger fast food places, not 100% meats, mixed with other products. Feeder cattle, red for the month. Yep. It's an acceleration phase here. Likely go higher too. And lean hog, green for the month, higher, 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 low. Broke above the consolidation. That's good. That's bullish. You make money on the upside. Okay, I hope you liked what I shared with you. And you take a moment and click that like. As well, subscribe if you have.